Uh, don't know anything about Los Angeles or traffic, but I do know about fantasy football. Time for you, you up? Hey, you up? I think that's like a sexual connotation or uh, we're going to talk about the name of that segment but I'm going to hit you with sleepers that was the tag let's go Kirk Cousins I'm feeling the Vikings as you know I think they make the playoffs he finished as the 11th ranked fantasy quarterback last year at QB1 over 4,000 yards 33 tugs and just seven interceptions, which I thought was really impressive. And impressive. And that was, by the way, before offensive-minded king Kevin O'Connell. I think their Rams-esque offense is going to happen. The chemistry that uh, is going to take place is going to be pretty, pretty incredible and takes it to another level. The talent around him is absurd. Jefferson, Thielen, Dalvin out the backfield, K.J. Osborne, Irv Smith Jr. I love him! I'm so excited for him to be back and healthy. I was excited about him last season. So, uh, yo, Cousins, you have everything you can possibly want at your disposal. Light it up. Okay, let's go to wide receiver. A Juju, a Smith, a Schuster. Um, he gets forgotten about because of the injury last year, but he is one season removed from a 97 catch season with Big Ben doing his Weekend at Bernie's impression, all right? Big Ben was being carried all over the field, and Juju still killed it. Can you imagine what he's going to look like with Patrick Mahomes in this wide-open offense out of the slot in the middle of the field while teams are all keying in on one Travis Kelsey? Listen, Juju has had a, a real uh, interesting career path, right? The Antonio Brown shade, the TikTok dances. I feel truly that they've pushed him into this place that he is now massively underrated. Listen, he's probably not putting up 111 catches for 1,400 yards like he did in his sophomore season next to Brown, but I could easily see him go for 90 plus, 1,200 plus yards, and eight plus touchdowns, which would make him an absolute PPR stud. <sighs> I'm gonna try this again with Rondale Moore. I love him, we saw flashes during his rookie season. 54 catches, not bad, not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, I expect that to change in a big way. Christian Kirk got paid. He left, he gone, and then team leading 103 targets and 982 yards go with him. All of that to me means that Rondale Moore is going to have a great season. He's got blazing speed, he's super shifty, and you got Kyler Murray, Cliff Kingsbury offense. Don't let it drag when the fantasy playoffs come around. That's all I ask you. I think he's one of the best values in this draft. All right, let's go into Cole Komet, shall we please? Let's do it. The former second round pick quietly racked up 60 catches for over 600 yards last year. Even in what was a, how do I put this lightly, dysfunctional Bears offense. Listen, this season, Fields is going to get more comfortable. I think he'll be great, and the two continue to build chemistry. I think he's primed to crack the top 12 at tight end, a nice sleeper there. And with the state of the Bears receiving core right now, I can he not be the main option out there for Justin? I expect a ton of volume. All right, uh, and last but not least, let's do it. Yeah, don't sleep on Cole Komet. He's, yeah. I like him a lot. All right, we're going to give you one that everyone's talking about, but I'll buy a little, I'll buy some shares of this. Why not? Pierce, Damon Pierce with the Texans, breakout star this preseason, won the job in the Texan backfield with uh, his running style. Really, everybody was talking about him. It's pretty punishing. It's downhill. He looked so impressive, and I, you can't talk me out of the fact that he's going to get the bulk load of the work for Houston. Rex Burkhead, the only other guy out there, and I've tried enough to make Rex Burkhead happen in fantasy. It just doesn't work. So whenever you get a chance to get a young running back, defined role, plenty of volume, you got to go all in and you got to grab him. So I can't wait to see him take the field in week one. There's my fantasy spiel for you. You up? What are we doing, guys? You up? All right, keep tweeting the show. I want predictions. The more specific you get on your game one kickoff prediction, the better. And we're going to get some predictions on that, the Super Bowl. I want to see the ring. Don't show it yet. Eric Weddle! Don't, don't show it. All right, joining the show after this. Woo!